You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Sailor Moon After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Sailor Moon After Show. <laughs> And welcome to Sailor Moon Crystal After Show here at AfterBuzz TV. We're just so excited to be here. Giddy. Giddy. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> and we are so excited because it is the reboot of the 1992 anime manga, and it is going to be phenomenal because this episode was phenomenal. I am Coach K, and my panel right here, I've got... Markia McCarty. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. I'm Joyce Azuri. And I'm Dale Rutledge. Yeah, so Ooh, obviously day. familiar faces, well, faces and voices, depending on what, <laughs> what you watch, <laughs> how, you using. Exactly. how you do, <laughs> whether so. or not you're into wrestling. Oh <laughs> yeah, three out of the four of us are on wrestling shows. How weird. Wrestling, <laughs> Sailor Moon. Where do they there's, there's tie a, in? There's a category. It's like a, both sides right. of the spectrum <laughs> of TV shows. <laughs> so overall thoughts of this show, this first episode. Beautiful. Yeah, it, they remade it. Uh, the animation is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. loved it, especially the transformation. Yeah, okay. yeah that was oh, my favorite part. Oh, yeah. I was telling them before you came, I was like, the transition sequence was amazing. Or the transformation sequence. It was so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah. it's like slick and it's beautiful. Beautiful expression in the eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're all twinkly yeah. every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I like the beginning part because it's just so different and it automatically just brought all these childhood memories back to the moment she starts coming in. Oh, the dramatic oh, intro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, taking you way back when, when it's like the solar system, and here's the story, yeah. and then here she is. And you're like, who is she? <laughs> oh. oh. I guess we got to yeah. watch and see. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they have about 26 episodes coming um, our way. That's what I heard, yeah. In, in the pattern of twice a month the first and third of every saturday so we will be here every sunday talking about that so yeah, yeah. i'm so excited because <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> so usagi is sailor moon in case you guys don't know. Okay, we all know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and this is going to be a spoiler filled because obviously, if you're watching this show, you know what's up. Yeah. You're yeah. reliving your childhood yeah. as well. Oh, it's a reboot. They've yeah. told you several times, so we're not breaking the news here. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to not call her Serena. Yeah. And, right. and not to call uh, Molly Molly. And it, it's going to be really crazy. So forgive me in advance <laughs> for screwing up the Japanese names. You'll get used to it real yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah. We'll go through it together. Okay. You do. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the premise of this particular um, show, this reboot, is that it wants to be more closely related to the manga, the series. Mm -hmm. And already with the animation in itself, it looks a lot closer and it's just, oh, it's just so beautiful. I think I watched it five times. It's easier to watch. It is. It's so much easier to watch. It, I felt I felt more drawn to it. I mean, when I watched it when I was a kid, I watched it in, in the English dubbed version. But watching it in Japanese, in, it, it's different, but I still feel more um, like I'm paying more attention. Yeah. Because it's, it's that nice. Yeah. <laughs> and the animation felt a little smoother. And, and I love the, the warm colors. It seems like it has a nice tone to everything that's going on on it. Uh -huh. It was... It was just easy, even if you put on mute, I feel like you could watch the show. Yeah, it somehow yeah. felt less cheesy and more. That's true. Real. Yeah, I know that's kind of no, weird that's thing. very real. true. Yeah, Usagi seemed uh, a more mature version of herself. Not super mature. She obviously yeah. has a journey <laughs> to go through. Mm -hmm. But like when you compare it to the first episode of the original, it's like just in the transformation itself. Like how her expression in her eyes, it's very childlike. It's very yay, we're doing this now. This is awesome. <laughs> While with this one, it's just like. I can take this on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I wonder, are they going for an older demographic this go-round? I mean, I know the American I, I, one was very chopped and edited from 
you know, the Japanese version before. I would assume so. I would guess they're going for us. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the people who grew up with her who uh-huh. are now in their 20s and 30s and they're just like, hey, remember? So huh? excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think the kids obviously can enjoy it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. We got best of both worlds, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so quick premise on her way to school. She's 14 years old, by the way. Yeah. I totally yeah. forgot. She's an eighth really grader. Really little. Yeah, middle yeah. school. Yeah. Very little. Mm-hmm. Everyone's it's least crazy. favorite year of school, I'm pretty sure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, the didn't do me age. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had never had an awkward age. No. Oh, <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she is still the same klutzy girl that we all knew and loved, and she's terrible in school, and she has friends, and she likes to go to the arcade, and her mom doesn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> her mom kicks her out of the house. That, was a, that was a really funny scene yeah. <laughs> when she kicked the door. She's like, God. I'm like, yeah, my mom would never kick me out of my house. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Sailor V kick. Yeah. 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 Uh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, speaking of Sailor V, there was a lot more of Sailor V in this particular, mm-hmm. you know, more than usual. And this time the mom acknowledged Sailor yeah. V. I don't remember, no. I don't remember her mom talking about Sailor V at all in, in the original version. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I don't remember that either. Yeah. She was like, mm-hmm. oh, I wish you could be more like Sailor V. I'm like, really? But Whoa. Mm. Hey, now. <laughs> She's a vigilante. Her, her mom's a, a lot more vigilante. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so uh, Usagi's having all these dreams, and she's wondering, uh, dreams of this princess that kind of looks like her for some reason. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. And this really hot mm. guy named Tuxedo Mask. Mm. Who apparently oh. wears a tuxedo during the day <laughs> also. <laughs> not a very good disguise. Yeah, yeah. that was very strange. Who's that the guy strange. in a tuxedo and a mask? <laughs> Certainly not the guy who just wears a tuxedo. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's so funny. I, yeah. uh, and speaking of that, I liked their first meeting, their first encounter. Mm-hmm. Me too. I love yeah. how it just love at first sight for her or admiration or I, I took it as like you know f- you know from the previous the theme from the previous version where it's like I feel like I've seen you before mm-hmm. it's to me it was just like I like you but why do I like you you're a jerk to me I feel like there's a connection and I don't know was, yeah and I, I think she feels it like she's very lovey-dovey at first yeah. but he also insults her from the get-go which I think a lot of guys do anyways when they like somebody so I think it's two-sided because what he, he says something like are you gonna make she hits him in the head Bump he's like head. are you gonna make bumps on my <laughs> head too <Or> like, <laughs> Hold up. guys like, insult. 30 percent you should study more <laughs> guys insult girls when they first meet them and they like them I think it happens. that might be a problem <laughs> yeah that is a problem actually <laughs> they don't know how to flirt so they just go for insults <laughs> damn it tuxedo mask needs some work <laughs> he needs to work on that <laughs> I like the bit of comedy Comedy that was in it when uh, you know after they had had that moment and she's like taking her paper and she walks off he's there and then she comes back in it's like yep forgot my briefcase and then yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah that was adorable that was cute yeah that was cute. and that encounter was cool and also the encounter with uh, Luna yeah once she first meets Luna well, she kind of like rails the cat <laughs> yeah which is which is Aww. different i remember it being different in the last version right yeah. doesn't she kind of save luna from some bullies or something yeah but that doesn't happen yeah. in this one well she takes her bandage off she, yeah. she still takes a bandage off which gives her her senses back and leads luna back to sailor moon yeah yeah, yeah. which was nice and Again, I like the voice of Luna. Me too. Mm-hmm. Me too. I like this Japanese version of the voice of Luna because the old version that we had, the English dub, it was she was like an old lady. She was, older. Yeah, it was like an old lady. Older. Yeah, I didn't, I yeah. didn't like. That. I did really appreciate. I was gonna actually say that today. I thought I was like, hmm, make note of that. That I really liked her voice this time around. Yeah. Because before it, it wasn't convincing as Luna to be an old lady. To sound like an old lady. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So cute and fluffy. Yeah. And she's so much cuter now. She's so cute. I want she to She is home. cute. She's like <laughs> sweet and less scary. Yeah. yeah. You know? She's like, it is not a bald spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah. When Usagi kept on insisting that uh, it was a crescent shaped bald patch. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's like, so I'm wrong. not losing my hair. <laughs> I feel like everything happens so fast. You know, first Usagi gets really bad grades. She goes home. Her mom kicks her out. She goes back to sleep. Dreams about being a princess or seeing a princess. Then Luna comes in and says, "Hey, uh, here is this brooch." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got some things to do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Get dressed. We gotta go. Man, they didn't. They didn't explain how Luna had the brooch either. Like in the first one, Luna did. Remember? Oh like yeah, she makes it. Thing, yeah. And then oh, she just makes yes. it. Yeah. And she That's made true. all of the, the yeah. yeah all of the sailor scouts that way. So it's like. 
Where was that? Where, like, where did it that. come from? Where, where you ain't had no that? pouch. <laughs> <laughs> the marsupial cat. Yeah, I think I think things are <laughs> things are definitely moving faster in this version. I like that yeah. though, especially mm -hmm. if we're getting an episode only every other week. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get it going because this episode was yeah. very similar. I mean, yeah, there were some discrepancies between the first, uh, sorry, the last season of the last series and this one, but this was pretty much the same it was as pretty much. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but they did tease at the end amy popping up yes mm. which we didn't get that for like seven or eight episodes in which the, in yeah. The True. yeah eight episodes yeah i don't even think she was in the first episode in the previous version no, no. she came no. much later it took her a while to get here yeah yeah, yeah. i think so was their friends right off the wasn't bat. ray the first one with her mm. um i think so i think it was ray yeah. i think it was ray because they huh. had that you know <laughs> that uh kind of like a sibling rivalry between uh -huh. the two yeah. of them. i wouldn't say yeah. that i didn't like ray at first i was like what a witch oh, man ray's my favorite <laughs> i really enjoy I love ray, ray. <laughs> and i, I really like her now it. yeah <laughs> when i'm older i'm like oh i understand what she's trying to go for yeah. maturity is what she <laughs> wanted i get it sensibility <laughs> i wasn't there <laughs> um so yeah we talked about the transformation what, would, what did you guys think i mean you already mentioned it but yeah i mean and i thought it was visually stunning it was beautiful and it wasn't as long as the previous version, which I appreciated because uh -huh. every time they transformed in the older episodes, I'm like, okay, I, I've seen this like 50 times before. Like, can we hurry up? But this one was like the perfect length. It, I wouldn't mind watching it over and over again. I don't know why you get your nails painted before you put <laughs> gloves on, but outside of that, that I like this. That, I <laughs> nice. actually thought about that. Yeah. I was like, man, if I can just get my nails painted, boom. <laughs> I mean, sure. That's yeah. amazing. Or, did you ever see, what was that, Total Recall, where that secretary oh. had the... Still waiting <laughs> oh, for yeah. that. Yeah. Still waiting for that to exist. Somebody get on that. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I like the transformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was extremely gorgeous. stylistic. It was like a dance. Yes. You yes. Know? yes. It was like a choreographed dance. And I like that there wasn't... Um, uh, that it wasn't that she was nude for a while, <laughs> colorfully nude, Colorful. and then decorated with ribbons. Yeah. It was just it went straight to it. So I, yeah. I, I really appreciated that. Same, <laughs> same here. Yeah, so. and just like the way that they did the hair, mm -hmm. it's like she's got four things going on. <laughs> I've I, always I thought it was great. Sorry, yeah. um, I've always wondered if she were to say those words, you know, out of the context of trying to save. Well, a crime scene like would she transform would it just happen like if she's just like oh you know moon prison power she like, she oh. probably has to <laughs> say it like Moo! like all, all energetic <laughs> yeah. and stuff yeah it's a code voice uh -huh. as well she has to feel it <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. actually yeah she has to feel it to change like because in the original series you know when she wasn't feeling like that she wanted to do it anymore <coughs> mm -hmm. it just wouldn't work wouldn't work that's right yeah so that what, cherry orchard one. Well, this first transformation, she was a little confused. Like, moon, prism, power, and then boom. <laughs> 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 all this stuff. And when she's transformed, her little buns come up and start flashing that radars. there's a problem. <laughs> which uh, I think is new. Yeah, I, I don't remember they, that. They had that in I don't the, recall in the very, either. very first one okay. of okay. the original series. Oh. And it was only in the first episode. And I'm so glad that they got rid oh, of that. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing that she never brought back yeah, after that the ultrasonic. first episode. Crying, mm. crying, and <laughs> yeah, that's it only true. Was on the, so I hope that they don't. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, I really, I thought I'm it, not a big. You're fan. not a cop car. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any lights going off on your head. <laughs> Like, here comes Sailor Moon. <laughs> but I do like that she does use that ultrasonic cry like on accident because she she is not prepared for this. Yeah. Like we were saying, like Luna's like, like mm -hmm. go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, she doesn't know what's going on, and so I like that that's a power. Her accidental at least for power. This one, yeah, at least yeah. for this one time. I hope it comes back. That's, Maybe would, we'll see. Definitely sad if they didn't. She's a big back. baby, so I'm sure she yeah, can bring back yeah. pretty easily. <laughs> but I thought those little flashing lights in her meatball heads were um, <laughs> meatball head meatball head bun <laughs> things were to replace the uh, crescent. Uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, the crescent the wand. Crescent I wand. I think that that's on its way. Yeah, that comes okay. later. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she goes out to her, the jewelry store where her friend is in trouble because uh, apparently, what was her name again? Uh, I forgot her name. The evil lady. Uh, oh, Beryl. Queen, Queen Beryl. Beryl. Yes. Her and her minions uh, created some creature who is <clears> trying <throat> to find the legendary silver crystal, which also Tuxedo Mask is trying to look mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
conflict. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Sailor Moon goes out there ready to, you know, go protect her friend, even though she has no fighting skills whatsoever. And Luna's like, yeah, you, you got to fight. I know. Just do this. Luna's just like, just get into it. <laughs> And uh, she soggy. she can't fight, and she's actually scared, and she's running around. I thought that was so cute when you can see her running, and then you can see the evil person running after her. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it just made it like it's like every childhood's mm. nightmare. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. To have this monster thing with everything's open and there's glowing some growth. eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, no. Mm-mm. Nope. I ain't no. shopping at that jewelry store. I'll tell you that right <laughs> no. Now. I don't care how big the discount is. Oh, man. <laughs> She's completely freaking out because not only does she have to fight this monster, quote unquote, but also everyone who got, you know, sale jewelry is also possessed right. and they're after her, too. So, of course, I would be freaked out if that was happening to me. Yeah. yeah. She- I kind of like that they do that. I mean, Me too. It, it's mm-hmm. something that I could believe. Like, if they had a huge discount, there would be a lot of people like clamoring for this jewelry if you could get it for cheap. Yeah. And then to put them all under a spell because they're wearing it. I don't yeah. know. It's easy for me to buy that. Although, I wearing it to sleep. <laughs> like, oh. I'm wearing you tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> they really love it, okay? <laughs> I think I've done that before. I think I've I bought, like, a like a ring that I love so much, and I just went to sleep mm, mm-hmm. in it. But like, maybe I was really little. Hope cradle it close. <laughs> I think I was really young. <laughs> yeah. You're so cute. Night, night, diamond. <laughs> So yeah. I, I really liked how, um, like, speaking of jewelry and, like, that yeah. encounter, um, how they changed uh, the tiara. Like, mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. original with, like, the tiara, it stayed um, in its shape and then started after she threw it. And then it became kind of like a crescent shape mm-hmm. and everything. And then this way, they just pretty much turned it into a chakram. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It just totally became this circular mm-hmm. weapon. It makes more yeah. sense, too. Yeah, everything actually kind of makes more sense in this new one. Yeah. At least to me. It's all thought out. Yeah. Properly. I think they're like, listen, if you guys still like Sailor Moon and it's been 22 years, we're going to give it to you straight. Yeah. We're going to give it to you how we initially meant to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been phenomenal. So she screams in fear and starts crying, and all of a sudden it becomes like this ultrasound <laughs> breaking everything around, and Tuxedo Mask is like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That was so yeah. funny to me. Yeah. He's like, stop it now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, do it now. Stop yeah. crying. <laughs> it's funny how she, he knows more about who she should be than yeah. mm-hmm. how she how she knows. She doesn't know anything yeah. right now. And then, yeah, she does her tiara thing and boom. His rose didn't come down. I know, it was weird ah, for her. Yes. His, his little, like, trademark. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that this I missed time that around. rose. Maybe, I know. Maybe he's just not doing it yet. It's on Dale's vest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dale has a little fabric rose on his vest. Best I could do on late notice. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they'll keep his signature, like, guitar riff. Mm. You know, dun, 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 dun. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Probably Something good. along those lines. Probably yeah. the more they become more and more more uh involved we'll probably see more of him doing his signature stuff yeah right now he's just a creeper oh. yeah yeah <laughs> that's he true. just he just shows up and tells her to stop crying uh, yeah he just yeah. books it yeah and then he just jumps out of a two-story window yeah like, three stories yeah. Like, like even though he's cool. super yeah. strong and magical yeah, he's like job. you do it good yeah. job Usagi. later <laughs> he's like i think i've done my piece thank you i'm out <laughs> see you next time <laughs> um so after all that happens, he introduces himself to her and says, I am Tuxedo Mask. And she, well, so let's talk about how she didn't know who she was at first. She was like, I am, mm. I am. And Luna stares at this crescent moon. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm Sailor Moon. Like, I'm a pretty Yeah, guardian. Luna didn't prepare her at all. <laughs> no. She didn't no. tell her anything. Bad guardian. Poor, poor girl. <laughs> yeah. Luna's a sink or swim kind of person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, how could she have possibly known? Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't. I mean, be. she had no time. She had to save her friend. And she yeah. even said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I gotta go save my friend. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, she feels it. She just doesn't know how to execute yeah. whatever yeah. she's got going on in her mind. So, after saving her friend, the next day she's at school and they're all talking about, oh my gosh, this sailor guardian person that looks kind of like Sailor V came to save me. And she's all in the corner, kind of. Seeming unhappy or yeah. I think she was, I feel like she was 
sleeping a little bit. Maybe she in true Usagi fashion. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I thought. Maybe she was, but maybe she was just pensive and thinking, reflecting on what just happened. Yeah. Yeah. I think they wanted you that to think that she thought maybe she had dreamed it all, but she did still have a talking cat on her back. And that yeah. was that yeah. was a common so. theme, though. She the whole time she's like, "I'm dreaming," and then Luna says, "Stop dreaming! Stop dreaming! It's not a dream! It's not a dream! It's real!" So that yeah. was pretty much the whole first episode of yeah Sagi. oh but yeah, then it ends really with good. with uh just a little bit of sailor mercury yeah, yeah sailor Mer- no yeah. we don't know who that is a sorry i mean a girl with blue amy. hair yeah sneak Short peek blue. at amy yeah, or, sneak peek yeah. At amy. which is i don't know her japanese me name. neither yeah. oh. right now i don't know her japanese name. oh it's ami yeah well that's ami. easy enough oh, ami. Yeah. <laughs> and, and ray stays ray right they uh, i think yeah. so isn't lita still lita yeah it's in they and rita and Okay, well, anyway. You can, you can teach us. <laughs> next, yeah, we're next week, we'll speak in Japanese with subtitles. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. That's going to take some work, but oh I, like it. I like it. Oh, my goodness. Is there any any highlights that you guys wanted to talk about? Um, the opening song and, and ending song? I don't know. Um, uh, we forgot about Andrew. Oh, yeah. uh, I think what's his He's, Japanese he, name? He Is was it... a little forgettable. Yeah, <laughs> oh, in for this, now. In this one, for now, oh, in this, this one, one. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but they did bring him back. He does look a little different, I guess, as do all of them. But yeah, um, yeah they kept his story consistent. Yeah, yeah. I cool. did. I did like how in this, as opposed to the original, they had where it was like you know where they had the screenshot and it's like beautiful, mm-hmm. like a motif, and it's like in this is Molly. Oh or, yeah, sorry, oh. whatever. Her, this is Melvin, but not Melvin. Yeah, <laughs> Japanese Melvin. Those people. I think it was like it's like and here's Andrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I really like that they did that. It was a nice interstitial. I thought it was if you mm-hmm. didn't know what was going on, it yeah. was nice to be like. By the way, for a second yeah. I thought she was breaking the fourth wall. For a second, I was like, she's oh. talking to us? But then I, you know. She kind of she kind of is. She kind of was. She kind of is. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, yeah. She's the same to herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's forgetful. When I was, reading her thoughts. When I was a kid, I used to watch this in, in Japanese, and they have, like, thousands of episodes. And this is a lot closer to what it looks like in Japanese. So um, I'm really happy with it. I'm okay with it being subtitled, and I actually prefer it that way. Um, but they actually have – we're moving on to news and gossip right now um, – they have uh, a new dub cast for the whole series. Cool. Oh, yeah, only one person came back, right? Um, I don't remember the names. I mean, I have the names of the new new cast, but I'm not familiar with the names of the oh, okay. previous ones. I think Usagi mm-hmm. is the same. Stephanie Shea, I believe. Okay. Wow, because hmm. I know they wow. replaced her for like um, a season or a part of a season because um, she actually like you know has a life and went off and had a kid <laughs> and you know, all that other stuff. It's been stuff. 22 years. She got yeah. unbusy. She got so, unbusy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they have um, pre-orders coming around and it's going to be released on Blu-ray and DVD on November 11th. And in the meantime, you guys can also watch The Sailor Moon Crystal on Hulu, This is Neon Alley, or also on Crunchyroll as well. Yes. Yeah, that's how we watched it, Crunchyroll. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah? Yeah. Crunchyroll. I watched all the old ones on Neon Alley. I don't know why I switched. I just Googled it. You just want to be too. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm over it. Well, I wanted to see if the streaming was any different, but it wasn't. You it's want to sad. share the love. Yeah. <laughs> Got to give them hits. <laughs> and guys, go check out iTunes and comment and rate and let us know what you thought of Usagi this particular episode and tell us what you think about us, what you want to hear. Give us some news, give us some gossip, and let's keep the conversation going on iTunes as well as on YouTube for you who want to see our beautiful faces. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to get a bomb body, go and check out Maria Munoz's The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Speaking of beautiful faces. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> beautiful package all over the place. Um, <laughs> they got great diet tips, workouts, and, you know, it's just a recipes. really... Recipes. Yeah. Recipes. Mm-hmm really good pictures of some of this food in here oh my god mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a solid book full of pictures if you are a visual person such as myself <laughs> and it'll help you get fit so go check that out yeah. as well and yeah i think that about wraps up this first pilot yeah yeah after Buzz, i can't wait to see show. what's coming I yeah, think it's, I know. it's gonna be very different from here on. I think. I, I, I think, think this is the only one that'll be so close to the original. I think the pace okay. is gonna be really fast. And yeah. I think it's gonna yeah. get a lot darker too. Yeah, oh, which I, like I that. I'm so excited. I no, like I want so that. Much. Yeah, I want that. I, I mean, want the fat cut out and let's get yeah. to this. Let's do it. Yeah, now, now that we're older, we're, we're ready for that dark. You know, <laughs> we can handle it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
in the meantime, where can everyone follow you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at TheWalkingDale. You can also find me at YouTube.com slash DishingOnMovies. And you can find me on Twitter at JayAzuri and on Instagram at IRUOJA. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Markia McCarty. Uh, also Instagram at, well, Markia McCarty. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter as well as Instagram at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S. I always have to spell it out. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to spell it. To be <laughs> <laughs> and you can follow the whole AfterBuzz team at AfterBuzz TV. And we will catch you guys in two weeks when the next one comes out. Uh, so long. Bye. Bye. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.